I'm in Athens, Greece right now, and I'd like to give you a tour of my whiskey cabinet. Did you enjoy that? It's what I have, so let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I am in Athens, Greece, as I said in the intro. This set of three bottles is what I bought here at Kava Nectar, and all the whiskey I own in the world that I have easy access to. I do have some left in a storage cabinet somewhere in San Francisco. If you're curious why I'm traveling, there's plenty of links below, digital nomads, all kinds of good stuff like that. But today, I have a itty bitty Glen Karen glass that I brought along as my new travel tasting glass. And I have three bottles. I'm gonna start with the bottle that I've already opened actually. If you didn't see me open up this 12 year bottle, you missed my last episode, which was a tour of the Cava Nectar liquor store. And it was really brilliant. I hope you enjoyed it if you did see it. Today, the 12 year is the one I'm gonna to choose to review first. I think this is a great place to start. There's also an 18 year in here and a legacy. The legacy has the highest ABV, so I'm gonna save that for last. Now I bought this bottle set because I wanted to try multiple whiskeys and I didn't really have time to go through a whole bottle of whiskey. This is a like one month in every city tour that my wife and I are doing until, I don't know, we haven't set an end date yet. It could be years, it could be one year, we don't know. But what I'm trying to do is still keep whiskey riffs going. So I bought sample bottles and luckily at this whiskey shop, these sample bottles, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the 50 milliliter ones you often see. This is 20 centiliters or 200 milliliters, which is really a great buy for the price. I think I paid about 70 euro for it or three bottles at 20 centiliters each. I don't think that's a bad buy at all. That's the proper pour for a tiny Glencairn glass. I don't know. So this Glen Goyne is a 12 year whiskey. It's a single malt scotch. It is 43% ABV, which isn't bad. This actually has three different casts that it was aged in. First fill European oak sherry cask, first fill American oak bourbon cask, and hand-picked oak cask. Maybe less oak spice and maybe more of the sherry influence or the ex bourbon influence. But I won't know that until I actually give it a nose and give it a taste, which I think I'll do right now. Ah, <sighs> it's nice to smell the whiskey. <laughs> There's definitely been less whiskey in my life since I started this journey at the end of November, since I don't have a whiskey cabinet behind me with 120 bottles. I don't have as much access to whiskey, and that's okay. I'm enjoying the flavors of the different drinks in the countries that we're in, and I've had some very lovely experiences in Athens, Greece, but they haven't been whiskey. So on the first nosing, definitely getting some citrus nose, it's a lovely lemon nose, kind of like a, a lemon zest. It's a little bit of fruitiness, probably the sherry influence that I'm getting. Maybe some berries. There's a little bit of maltiness and a little bit of oak spice on the nose. Very subtle. Definitely got the lemon flavor on the taste. The sweetness is kind of a honey sweetness and the oak spice is not overly intense. Uh, finish is really long. It's staying with me. The flavors at the finish are slightly sweet, maybe a little bit of honey flavor still. And like a, um, you ever had a coconut bar cookie? I used to have the ridges on them. As a kid, I used to break them apart and eat those. A little bit of that nose. Yeah, a little bit of the cookie sweetness, a little bit of that hint of coconut. There's a really good bit of uh, mid palate spice. I'm not getting as many sherry notes as I would have expected. And the third tasting, I am getting a bit of the fruity finish. And there's a little bit of a linger of a, of a sour note there, but it's not bad. It just just kind of fits in with the, with the honey sweetness and a little bit of the dark berries. But the dark berries are really late and they're only on the finish. So I'm not getting a ton of those. So what do I think about my first experience with Glen Goyne? I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, I don't know much about this whiskey. I've never bought a bottle for myself, so this is the first time that I've ever tried it. Their tagline on the bottle is unhurried since 1833. So sounds like they have their priorities in order. I don't want someone to hurry a whiskey. I think I'm gonna really enjoy having some whiskey around this apartment for the length of time that we're here in Athens, Greece. 
and I will enjoy my ongoing 12 and hopefully I'll enjoy the other ones. Make sure you subscribe if you want to watch those other episodes because they'll be coming up pretty soon. Would I recommend Glenn going to somebody else? I don't know. I have to sit with it a little bit. I think it's a very nice whiskey. I'm enjoying it right now, but I have a limited selection of whiskey and I'm going to enjoy the three bottles that I have. So what are your thoughts? Would you recommend this to your fellow whiskey drinkers, the Whiskey Riff community? If so, let me know in the comments. If you wouldn't, I'd like to hear about that too. I'd like to hear all your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. And cheers. Helps have a good caring class. I appreciate this.